Hey guys, uh, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today's video is a really quick one. What we're going to be doing is uh, discussing how I treat what's known as uh, seborrheic warts or senile warts. These are age related um, skin growths that actually occur on everyone, uh, including myself. So if you look really closely, you can see, I think, um, some warts around here. But as we get older, we get more and more warts. So um, this is my method. I use uh, two, really two ways. I use a curette and um, one of these lasers down here. I prefer the erbium laser compared to a CO2 laser because um, it gives less collateral damage. Sometimes I do use the CO2 laser. So um, watch carefully and I'll show you how it's done. Thanks for watching. Okay, age warts are really common. They can occur on the face um, and also can occur on other areas such as the scalp and on the body as well. This guy has extensive amount of um, subkeratosis on the scalp. The first thing I do is use a curette. A curette is a special instrument that debulks the skin lesion. So it's not a sharp cutting instrument, but um, a rather blunt one. And what it does is that, as you can see, it debulks the lesion. So it removes it nicely without actually cutting into the skin. It's a very, very quick procedure, and it's a very neat procedure. So with the curette, we can remove hundreds of these lesions in a few minutes. Uh, treatments are entirely painless. Uh, in this area, I use sedation, but also blocks and numbing cream. So the patient feels basically zero. So this goes on for about five to ten minutes, but we'll speed up the, um, the camera a little. You can see me just scraping away um, at hundreds of these lesions. Um, patient's nice and comfortable. Sorry about the shape, guys. This is FPV. So we don't go beyond the hair follicles, obviously, with this. Then um, I use a laser, and this gives finesse. So I'm using an erbium laser. And what I do with this laser is that I buffer out the edges. It's a very noisy laser, but it's a very accurate laser. And what it does is that it treats the edges of the lesion in the remaining um, senile keratosis of said warts. So you can see me here being the smaller ones and uh, fine-tuning the whole procedure so that it's very, very accurate. So we're giving him a good clean-up over here. Um, and we're going to the base of these said keratosis. So shortly you'll see the before and afters. Um, you can see on your left the before and the after results after um, three weeks. Um, it's a marked improvement with the subkeratosis. Once again, with this procedure with the curette and laser, you do not lose any hair at all uh, because we're moving very superficially and the hair follicles are deep in the um, skin. So this debulking actually helps. So let's look at a few before and after photographs. So this lady had an immense amount of um, sed keratosis together with wrinkling. So I used the same procedure, which is erbium laser coupled with a CO2 fractional laser. And this is the end result, a marked improvement in the sed keratosis, but also a tightening of the skin. So that's only one procedure. Um, this Asian gentleman had a lot of sed keratosis on his cheeks. Uh, I use actually a curette coupled with an erbium and laser. You can see what it looks like a few weeks later. The redness will fade over the next month or so. So it's a nice, precise method. This lady has not only got um, a subkeratosis, but she also has wrinkling. And I treated her with erbium together with CO2 laser. You can see there's a nice blend. It's slightly pink. The pinkness will fade, but there's also an improvement in wrinkling. Hey guys, thanks for watching this really short clip and remember to subscribe for more information on anything laser and dermatology aesthetic related. Um, thanks once again. Bye.